Um, الحمد لله رب العالمين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له أشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه والتابعين وتابعيهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين. This section of today's lecture we are sixteenth or seventeenth of Safar, fourteen thirty seven, matching the twenty eighth of November twenty fifteen. And we are still doing the hadith of Ash-Shubuhat, uh, speaking about the doubtful matters, uh, sixth hadith of Jami' Al-Ulum Wal-Hikam. And this is the third session uh, for us going through this hadith. Uh, under the title of Tark Al-Mushtabihat Min Tamam Al-Taqwa Leaving out doubtful matters is part of perfecting your taqwa, your piety for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, يعني, uh, explaining the part of the hadith, the hadith which says like the shepherd, the one who falls into doubtful matters, he falls into uh, haram. And the parable that was given, the parable of the shepherd who takes his animals to eat close to the sanctuary of the king then more than likely those animals they will go through that sanctuary and will eat from there and the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibited are his sanctuary he doesn't want you to get close to these uh, matters. So he says, in this there is an indication. It points out to the fact that uh, uh, one should stay away from prohibitions. So we should stay away from prohibitions and that one, the human, should make between him and these prohibitions a barrier, a separation, hajiz. Right? Qala Abu Darda, Abu Darda said, Tamam al taqwa an yattaqiya Allah al abdu hatta yattaqiyahu min mithqali dharra, min mithqali, mithqali dharra. He said, The perfect taqwa, piety, is that the servant will be pious towards Allah, will be God-fearing to a point that he will be afraid of him even, he will stay away even from an atom's weight, mithqal dharra, an atom's weight, that is of the haram. وَحَتَّى يَتْرُكَ بَعْضَ مَا يَرَى أَنَّهُ حَلَالٌ To a point that he will leave some of what he believes to be halal, to be allowable. خَشْيَةَ أَنْ يَكُونَ حَرَامًا For the fear that it may be prohibited. حِجَابًا بَيْنَهُ وَبَيْنَ الْحَرَامِ As a barrier between him and haram and prohibited matters. وقال الحسن, الحسن said, مَا زَالَتِ التَّقْوَى بِالْمُتَّقِينَ حتى تركوا كثيرا من الحلال مخافة الحرام. That taqwa piety continued to lead the pious, continued to encourage the pious up until they left a lot of halal, a lot of things that are permissible, fearing that which is impermissible, fearing haram. وقال الثوري الثوري عليه رحمة الله يسد إنما سموا المتقين لأنه متقه ما لا يتقى he said that they are called متقين pious because they avoided that which need not be avoided right 
they protected themselves from things that they don't need really to protect themselves from. That's why they are called muttaqin, right? Highly protective of themselves from haram. وَرُوِيَ عَنْ ابْنِ عُمَرْ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْ It is narrated from Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, that he said, قَالْ إِنِّي لَا أُحِبُّ أَنْ أَدَعَ بَيْنِي وَبَيْنَ الْحَرَامِ سُتْرَةً مِنَ الْحَلَالِ لَا أَخْرِقُهَا He said, I surely love to have between or to leave between me and haram prohibited things, sutra, a curtain, a cover, a barrier of halal, a barrier of things that are permissible, so that I will not rip it, right? I will not rip it. So between him and haram, there is a, a curtain, there is a wall of halal. So he will not go through this halal, right? He will have it between him and it, so that then he will never reach anything that is haram because there is a protective barrier between him and it, and haram that protective barrier is made of halal وقال سفيان بن عيينة سفيان بن عيينة said رضي رحمه الله لا يصيب عبد حقيقة الإيمان that a servant will not reach the reality of faith حتى يجعل بينه وبين الحرام حاجزا من الحلال up until he makes between him and haram things that are prohibited he will make between him and prohibited things a barrier of allowable things of halal وحتى يدع الإثم وما تشابه منه and up until he leaves sins and what is confused and what is doubtful uh, of uh, it or of matters right so here he says that you will not be reaching the reality of iman the reality of faith up until you make between you and haram a barrier of halal and up until you leave sinning and what looks like it and what is similar to it and what is doubtful meaning uh, that uh, doubtful matters he said ويستدل بهذا الحديث من يذهب إلى سد الذرائع إلى المحرمات وتحريم الوسائل إليها and uh, this hadith there are the scholars who use this hadith as a proof right uh, those scholars are of the position that they have a, a, a principle in fiqh. They call it sadd al blocking the avenues, blocking the means, blocking the means leading to haram, right? Blocking the means leading to haram. So the scholars who have this position of blocking the means and avenues to prohibitions, they use this hadith as a proof for that. Blocking the means to what is prohibited and tahrim al wasail ilayha, blocking any mean, uh, any of the means that lead to haram. And what proves that also from the uh, principles of the legislation, Sharia, تحريم قليل ما يسكر كثيره, the prohibition of uh, drinking or consuming the little of what the uh, a lot of it intoxicates. وتحريم الخلوة الخلوة بالأجنبية. And the prohibition of being in complete seclusion with a woman who is foreigner uh, to you, right? So this uh, principle in fiqh, blocking the ways and the avenues and the means leading to what is haram, to what is prohibited, is established in the sharia. Ah. Uh, this hadith is one of the proofs for this principle. And... 
the principles of the Sharia too. They indicate this. So, if there is a, 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 a drink, if you drink a lot of it, you get intoxicated. But if you drink a little, you don't get intoxicated. In Islam, the, uh, what is a lot is prohibited of that drink, and what is little is prohibited too. Why do you think? Right? This is the wisdom of the legislation, because you drink a little, then you increase it a little bit, then you increase it. Right? Today it's a small cup, then it's a bigger cup, you know, yani extra small, then small, then medium, then large, and extra large, right? And then you move to the American size, you know, which you need, you need two or three people to drink it, you know? <laughs> so this is the case. You get, uh, so if a lot intoxicates, what is little is prohibited because, you know, this calls for what is next. This is said, you're blocking. Why is this little prohibited? To block the means of what is haram. The woman, it is prohibited to be in complete seclusion with a woman who is foreigner to you. She's not your wife. She's not your sister. She's not your mother. She's someone you can get married to. So if you are completely secluded with her, just you and her, in a room and no one can see or in an apartment that's haram that's haram because what do you think will happen <laughs> right it's just natural right a man and a woman completely secluded nobody can see anything so then what do you think they will do <laughs> right so this is the case a blocking this having this relationship or being in complete seclusion with a, a woman that is not a mahram for you is prohibited. Why? Blocking the means and the ways, the avenues leading to that which is definitely prohibited. Right? So uh, this is uh, this is uh, this is the case. Uh, the last piece of the hadith. Al-Qalbu Alamatu Salahih. These titles, that are, they are by the one who abridged or summarized this book, the Sheikh Dr. Ahmed Al-Mazid, Hafizahullah Ta'ala. Al-Qalbu Alamatu Salahih. The heart and the signs of it being reformed, right? Being rectified, being good. Wa qawluhu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this is the last piece of the hadith. Ala wa inna fil jasadi mudra. Surely, there is in the body, there is a morsel, a piece of flesh. Ida salahat, if it's good, if it's rectified, salah al jasadu kulluh. The whole body will be good. Wa ida fasadat, fasad al jasadu kulluh. And if it is corrupt, the whole body will be corrupt. Ala wahi al qalb. Surely that is the heart. He said, fihi isharatun. In this, there is an indication. It points out to the fact that this is said in this there is an indication that the goodness of the movements of the servant in terms of his body parts, the movements of the body parts of the servant. وَاجْتِنَابِهِ المحرمات, Him avoiding what is prohibited وَاتِّقَائِهِ للشبهات, And him avoiding doubtful matters بِحَسَبِ صَلَاحِ حَرَكَةِ قَلْبِهِ That is according to how much goodness there is in the movement of his heart فَإِنْ كَانَ قَلْبُهُ سَلِيمًا If his heart was sound لَيْسَ فِيهِ إِلَّا مَحَبَّةُ اللَّهِ وَمَحَبَّةُ مَا يُحِبُّهُ اللَّهِ There is nothing in it except loving Allah and loving what Allah loves. وَخَشْيَةُ اللَّهِ وَخَشْيَةُ الْوُقُوعِ فِيمَا يَكْرَهُهُ And in it there is the fear of Allah and there is the fear of falling into what He 
سبحانه وتعالى ديسلايكس صلحت حركات الجوارح كلها then the movements of the body parts all of them will be rectified and reformed will be good ونشأ عن ذلك اجتناب المحرمات كلها and there will stem from this they will be initiated by this or through this avoiding all prohibited things وتوقي للشبهات حذرا من الوقوع في المحرمات and then there will be also avoidance of doubtful matters out of being cautioned out of being afraid of falling into prohibited matters وإن كان القلب فاسدا as for the case that the heart is corrupt قد استولى عليه اتباع هوا following his desires has overtaken him overtaken that heart وطلب ما يحبه and uh, seeking what it loves has taken over the heart ولو كرهه الله even he will follow what he loves even if Allah hated that thing فسدت حركات الجوارح كلها then the, all of the movements of the body will be corrupt وانبعثت كل المعاصي وانبعثت إلى كل المعاصي والمشتبهات بحسب اتباع هوى القلب and then these body parts will spring will turn to doing all kinds of sins and falling into all kinds of doubtful matters according to how much they follow uh, the desires of the heart ولا صلاح للقلوب حتى تستقر فيها معرفة الله there is no soundness no reform for the hearts up until the knowledge of Allah عز وجل his greatness محبته his love خشيته fearing him مهابته having fearful respect for him رجاؤه hoping in him والتوكل عليه reliance upon him there is no reform for the hearts up until those that he mentioned they become they, they become firmly rooted تستقر they firmly reside in the heart knowing Allah uh, glorifying him his greatness love fear uh, hope reliance upon Allah if those reside in the heart then he said min ذلك, and begets completely filled of these they are full completely full of these right then uh, there is no soundness no reform for that up until they have all of this and they are full of that he said وهذا هو حقيقة التوحيد this is actually the true meaning of uh, or the reality of the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وهو معنى لا إله إلا الله and that is the meaning of there is no true God except Allah and first and foremost that your heart is filled with those meanings right love, hope, fear, reliance and dependence upon Allah and so on and so forth قال الله عز وجل قل إن كنتم تحبون الله فاتبعوني يحببكم الله سورة آل عمران آية 31 say that is O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم if you truly love Allah then follow me Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم then follow me Allah then will love you فجعل الله علامة الصدق في محبته تباع رسوله Allah عز وجل made in this آية the sign of truthfulness, the sign of sincerity in loving him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, the sign of that is following his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. فَدَلَّ عَلَىٰ أَنَّ الْمَحَبَّةَ لَا تَتِمُّ بِدُونِ الطَّاعَةِ وَالْمُوَافَقَةِ So this proves that love cannot be perfect, cannot be complete without obedience and agreement. 
agreement with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves and that is following the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وَقَالَ يَحْيَى بْنُ مُعَاذِ يَحْيَى بْنُ مُعَاذِ said لَيْسَ بِصَادِقٍ مَنِ اِدْدَعَى مَحَبَّةَ اللَّهِ وَلَمْ يَحْفَظْ حُدُودَهُ He is not truthful, he said. He is not truthful. The one who claims the love of Allah, yet he does not guard, he does not preserve his limits. He does not preserve his limits. Right? So, this is the end of uh, the explanation of uh, this hadith, uh, the hadith of Al Halal Ubayin Wal Haram Ubayin. Um, inshallah, we will uh, stop here, inshallah.